Well, I, th- I think we had that at the Russian club. That's the, the first office we ever had, down on Kingsland Road. Um, and it was a little box in the basement. There was a photo studio at the back, which was great. We could use it whenever we wanted. But it was just the two of us in this little room, and I don't think we realised how much, you know, we just went in on ourselves and we never saw the outside world when it came to print deadline for weeks on end, really. Um, and it was a bit strange moving in here because we'd got used to this way of working and, we, you know, you do, it had this, like, cool, independent, arty feel to it. But this, you know, this was that next step up where we'd been doing it for two years and it wasn't just a magazine anymore, it was a proper business. And taking clients and, you know, contributors down into that little basement just didn't seem as cool anymore. Well, we did, even when we were at the Russian club, we we didn't take time away to just all sit together and talk about some ideas. And now at least like once a week or once every couple of weeks, we'll, me, Adam and Tom will take ourselves away from downstairs, come and sit up here, you know, and just talk about... Even having what the breakfast bar at the kitchen, you know, we, we, we can t- eat lunch together and stuff, instead of it being on your <laughs> desk, you know, which is not productive at times. And now we can have a conversation over lunch, you know. It's, it's small little details like that that just help the flow of, the, of your business, I guess. The photographers and that that work have become our sort of best friends. You know, we play football with some of them. Um, they come. They don't just come in to pick the magazine up. Sometimes you can't get rid of them. You know, Neil will come in for two hours, have six cups of tea, two packets of biscuits, and you're like, I've really got to get on with some stuff now, mate. And he's like, oh, Okay, yeah, you know. But it's fine. It's like, it's nice that they come in because you've been working so hard on something. You'll you'll get sidetracked and talk about a different conversation, and it, it all comes back round. And by the time he's left, you're fresh with some ideas again. But They've always done that, you know, everyone we work with, they're obsessed with football, you know. Even though they predominantly work in fashion, we're a little bit of an outlet for them because they probably go to a lot of meetings where they've got to talk about certain things. Whereas when they come and see us, they just talk about football and the magazine and what they want to shoot next. And, you know, it's really, you know, it's, I think it's the best way to do it. And yeah, I mean, I still think the best ideas we have are at the pub. I think it's because maybe we switch off from, you know, when we, me and Adam, are, you know, we've known each other for years, and we were we were friends before we were sort of business partners. And then when it's at work, it's very sort of business orientated. But when it's at the pub, you know, you sort of revert back to being friends again and just talking openly about things. And I suppose that's when some of the best ideas come when you're not really forcing it and thinking too hard or distracted by anything else. You know.